I'm Andrew, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of how I frame a window opening in a log house in order to install new windows. Okay, so first let's take a look at the situation that we're dealing here with. As you can see, I've removed the inner windows and trim around the window jams. And right off the bat, you can see the big mistake that the previous window installer did. So this material around the window right now is expendable gun foam and it's an excellent building material when used correctly. But in this case, it's completely wrong and I'm going to explain you why. This is a log house uh, built around 20 years ago. The thing about log houses is that they need to sell, which means over time, in a couple of years after building, they start to shrink and the, all the gaps between the logs, they close up. But in this case, this expandable gun foam doesn't allow to do that. There's uh, quite a lot of gaps and over here, you can even see that the owner has try to fill the gaps with some sort of a ceiling material used for doors and windows. But obviously this is not going to work because the problem is much deeper. And let's take a look outside as well. And you can see a really big gap between those two logs. Luckily the guy who lived here did not fill these gaps with uh, expendable gun foam as this would have been a big big disaster and you can really see that these windows have outlived their time due to the weather and the sun and everything these uh, windows have suffered the wood is pretty much gone and you can tell the windows weren't good because the previous owner tried to seal the gaps with some silicone in order to make them uh, airtight well he didn't do that too well either as I'm going to leave here permanently I will change out the windows to a glazed ones and in order to do that we have to frame properly the opening Well, there has been a big mice infestation as well because it seems that the mice have made tunnels above the jam and there's mice poop everywhere admit this window was installed pretty bad they tried using this um, glass wool to make it airtight between the log and the jam but as this probably wasn't enough I'm guessing uh, the owner came back and put down uh, expendable gun from foam from both sides and this actually fixed the log to the window jam, making it impossible for it to uh, move. This thing over here, I've already framed a few uh, window openings, uh, but this one, it's a first for me actually. <laughs> there was definitely a big colony of something over here. And there you can see the larva. The structure is built out of some sort of a rocky material or something. So the side members of the window framing in a log house are important as they stop the logs from moving side to side and they keep them in a straight line. On this one they've used, uh, I think it was 40 millimeters wide, uh, pretty much a wood stick. And I know from previous uh, window framing 
that they've also cut them thinner and I can see it already here so let's take this one out <laughs> okay so there wasn't anything left of the post that was supposed to hold the wall straight <laughs> they just uh, pretty much chainsaw it thinner to make an uh, opening for the window I don't I I don't know if they didn't have tape measures or what, what was the problem but they somehow managed to always cut one side really thin I'm sure that the, the other side is it's supposed to be like that instead of like that but still this is this is not enough to hold the wall straight so, what's the correct way to frame this window opening? Well, I'm glad you asked! For the vertical posts, you have to have a special post. I don't know how it's called in English, in Estonian we call it tenderbost. There are two different types of these posts. This is called the T-tender. And it's easier one to make and it's also easiest uh, to install. The other one uh, is called uh, full tender, dice tender. But this one is just uh, 200 by 45 construction lumber. And then I routed a groove in the middle and then uh, nailed and uh, glued a 45 by 70. So it's pretty strong joint. So the way we're gonna do this is as the new windows where the, they are the same size but as I'm gonna install these uh, posts I need to make the hole a little bit bigger so first I'm gonna cut the hole bigger with the chainsaw then I'm gonna make a groove inside the log for this post to sit in and I'm also gonna add uh, one to, to the top and one to the bottom but these are just gonna be regular 45 by 200 uh, studs So I've installed the lower horizontal frame piece. I actually left a little bit of a gap between there around 5 millimeters so I can easily fill it with gun foam. As this lumber is untreated I'm actually doing it myself with some wood protector. I'm ready to install the vertical posts to make the posts airtight so that wind is not blowing through. I'm gonna put some fibrous material in the bottom of the groove and I'm gonna use this thing it's uh, sort of a fibrous uh, natural material and I'm gonna fill the bottom with a layer of that and then I'm gonna put in a post So I 
cut a few grooves in, inside the vertical post. This is so that I can screw it to the logs while still allowing the logs to move up and down. If I don't tighten the screws too much, they can still move and allow the house to settle. Good morning and we're back. Last night was quite long. Based on my experience I would say that framing one window takes around five hours. The gap here on this frame was a little bit too narrow so I widened it today but I think now they're done and ready to receive the window. The fiber that I'm using to make the frame uh, windproof is a uh, flex fiber. This is a natural fiber made of uh, linseed. You can see that there are still some gaps between the log and the, and the framing. And I'm gonna take some flex fiber and I'm gonna press it in with my knife on both sides to make it uh, airtight. I'm gonna do it later as right now the main goal is to finish all the all the window frames so when the windows arrive in uh, one to two weeks uh, I can just install them and uh, I can do this uh, this stuff later anyway and the top I'm gonna fill with uh, rock wool this is just gonna allow the top log to come down if it wants to and from uh, inside and outside I'm gonna tape it to make it windproof. <laughs> 